welcome to the techie cv tutorials today we will discuss about overview of pentaho so i'll give you the overview of pentaho data integrator first once you download data integration tool you have to unzip that folder inside data integration folder you will find one file spoon.bat double click on that file and this workspace as you can see in the screenshot will be visible at your end. Now main components of Pentaho are job and transformation. In order to open a new job you have to go to file, go to new and then click on job. Likewise in order to open a new transformation or to design something inside the transformation go to file, new and then go to transformation. Inside the transformation there are many components which will help you design the ETL code. As you can see in the screenshot, you have Salesforce component, input components, output components, scripting components and likewise. Similarly in the job, you have certain set of components present in job as well. Which is like journal, mail components, condition components, scripting components and big data components. Components which are part of job will run in sequential way. That means the number of components that you dragged in job and you, those are connected through hope. Those will run in sequential way. That is one by one it will run. Whereas the components which are part of transformation, those all will run in parallel. There are three important configuration files of Pentaho DA. First is cattle.properties. Second is repository.xml, third is share.xml. All these files are present inside .kettle folder. And .kettle folder gets created once you open spoon.bat for the first time. Now .kettle folder gets created inside the username directory. That is in Windows if you have a user called abc, then this folder is available inside the directory c user abc whereas in case of linux machine if you have user by the name 170201 or by your name then it will be inside the directory home that username so if you want to run any transformation or job in windows then you have to go to action tab and click on run or directly if you want to do press F9. Now in Pentaho one can create repository as well. As you can see there are two type of repository. One is database, one is file based. You can edit kettle.properties from UI directly. Go to edit. Go to edit the kettle.properties file and you can edit and save it. Thank you for watching. If you like it, please click on subscribe button for more informative videos. Thank you. Thank you very much.